DAO, yeah, the best way I think to explain things like this is to compare it to what people already know in my mind would be a company. It's not a company, but I'm comparing it to a company. So in companies you have shares, um, but in, in DAOs, there's no shares, but you have this token, which in some cases doesn't really give you ownership rights, but it gives you voting rights, like a seat at the table on the board. The difference between companies and DAOs is also like it's cross border. It's like completely, completely cross border. So you're not dealing with any particular jurisdiction. You're actually dealing in cyberspace, which is like anyone with the internet can basically access this. It's all through the internet and through usually public blockchains. It gives anyone the opportunity to build um, and to come in and contribute. Even if you're in South Africa, like myself, I didn't ever have to set up a US bank account or a German bank account. I could just receive tokens for my work. It really enables collaboration on a really massive scale.